Chilean needlegrass is a major threat to pastoral farming on the east coast of New Zealand. First identified in Marlborough in the 1930s, Chilean needlegrass has now made sheep farming there very difficult on about 2,500 hectares. It's invasive and unpalatable to stock while seeding, but the real problem is its needle-like seeds. So this, what you can see here, is the typical uh, uh, open panicle, which, is, which has got around about 25 to 30 uh, spikelets. So these are the units uh, that make up the panicle. So uh, each of these spikelets is made up of uh, a, um, a couple, two uh, purple-coloured glooms, which are really very distinctive in this grass and very di pretty diagnostic. Um, and inside each of these uh, uh, spikelets is one flower or one floret. And this floret, uh, at this stage, this is, uh, this is at the pollination stage, um, and at the moment we can see the long tail of the floret. And it also comes out with a very, very sharp point as it detaches from the parent plant or from the spikelet. There are backward pointing hairs all the way along the awn. So the seed will get uh, very easily lodged in the uh, fleece of a, of a sheep. It'll be dry when it, when it arrives there and the, and the awn will be tightly, tightly wound up. But during wet weather conditions, uh, this awn will start to unravel and the, and the kink in the awn will act as a ratchet and catch the awn in the fleece. But the seed will keep drilling and it'll do up to 25 re revolutions. Um, it can't come back out because of the backward pointing here, so it keeps drilling in through the fleece. And when dry weather comes along again, it starts to lose moisture and it revolves back the other way, up to 25 revolutions, but the seed keeps going in. And so with, with, with wetting and drying, basically this drill is going, corkscrewing its way through the fleece, and eventually it'll hit the skin, and it doesn't stop there. At the end of the seed is so sharp that this uh, mechanism will drive the seed right through the fleece um, and into the underlying muscle. So that really is the nub of the problem with Chilean needlegrass and that is that it drills right through fleeces and into the muscle. Um, so the pelts become worthless because an animal might have several thousand um, of these seeds in its fleece, in its pelt, and it'll have lesions in the underlying muscle that have to be trimmed out of the carcass. So, uh, yes, so the fleeces are typically worthless and the carcasses are downgraded because they need to be trimmed. For much of the year, Chilean needlegrass is difficult to distinguish from other pasture species, but it is more easily identifiable in spring and summer due to its purplish flowers. The best way to stop Chilean needlegrass from spreading is for landowners to take responsibility and to adopt the mantra biosecurity starts at the front gate. They should take the time to learn what CNG looks like and understand the ways in which it can be spread. Vectors can include people, stock, farm vehicles and machinery and hay. Have a plan and take action. Put up signs, lock gates if necessary and make a point of finding out where visitors have come from and be prepared to inspect their vehicles. Visitors to farms should follow the same rules and make sure they don't unwittingly spread this potentially devastating weed.